Hi, this is a video just showing the export settings I use for the finished video that I did last year uh, of an 8K360 video. Basically, well, here's the video here, and we're going to export it using Premiere Pro. So the export media settings. So basically, here's our source, 7680 by 3840. This is for YouTube, so it's a 2 to 1 ratio. Uh, the format you can use now is quick is QuickTime, and I put it in a oops not there do 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 down here. Hold on, there codec settings. You can't put it in an H two six four. That's what YouTube likes. It just if you try to match source, it just won't work because H two six four can only go up to 4K and we're obviously over 4K here. So that just sort of does an error there. But if you bring it down to MP4, do, 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 MPEG4, we can match the source settings here, the width and the height. So that's the one I suggest using MP4. Now, you can also probably just use uh, ProRes, but you're gonna be uploading a larger size uh, file and YouTube's gonna just compress it anyway into their, their format, probably MPEG-4 or, or a WebM uh, format afterwards. I think, I don't know if I do, I think I do have a W, well, it's a zone codec actually, WebM, but anyway, QuickTime is the one you want, MPEG-4 uh, codec, and uh, you can just cue that. And that goes into the media encoder and you can export it. So just to recap, <laughs> QuickTime with MPEG-4 uh, wrapper uh, or codec. Basically, that is it that you need. And after that, you would bring it into the, the metadata injector for YouTube for, the, for 360. The updated one has no problem accepting movie files, so there's no, need, no workarounds needed anymore. Uh, like we did last year for uh, using 8K video. All right, I hope you find that helpful. Thanks.